So this is a video guide for biking from Gasworks to Golden Gardens. Yeah. It's about six and a half miles. It's relatively flat and there's a TCX link you can download. It goes along the Burkillman Trail through Fremont, then up along 6th Ave, and up. then across Market Street in Ballard, and then and along 58th. And down and up. No, mostly north, and then it get after 58th, it reconnects with the Burkillman Trail. Hang mm hang. -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's north. So here is uh, Gasworks in Willingford, and this was recorded on a Sunday morning. So sometimes it can get a little busy here, not too bad. It's just, you know, go slowly and make sure you are alert of traffic passing you. A lot of joggers, bikers, strollers, walking. Over here is Brooks, and this part of the trail is a little narrow. Want to keep it slow. Coming up. Here's Adobe and Tableau. This is the Aurora Bridge. Over here is the Fremont Bridge. And over here is Google. And there's a nice little area to stop. Yeah. You can watch the boats go by and the bridge yeah. open. Uh, so on Sundays, there is the oh. Fremont Sunday Market. And yes. Can, so it can get kind of busy right there. Um, how about we just this video. <laughs> I don't think there's any dancing. No, just just biking. Okay, biking. Why does it always have to only be biking? Well, I didn't. Maybe not. <laughs> I, I didn't see anyone dancing on the camera. I mean, if you um, dancing on the bike. <laughs> so the Burt Gilman Trail, it does this little jog of the the railroad tracks. And sit on your bottom. So bottle. when you cross from Fremont into Ballard. Take a right over uh, the railroad tracks, the rental place, and then there's a crosswalk button right around the stop sign. We were really lucky and we could cross Leary with no problem. And then you take a left onto 6th. It's a pretty, 6th is a nice calm street, pretty quiet. There's uh, Sometimes there's some cross traffic. So, I know, like, that we are gonna turn, yes, we are gonna no, turn. No, we're going right straight. Now. We're going straight. Uh, we turn way down on 50th, but for the most part, it's pretty quiet here. Um, except for there's some cross traffic every now and then. I, I think Waze routes to this neighborhood. Uh, turn if you want. You just turn. Well, and so when you go down, Yay. you go down to the next stop sign. At that stop sign, there is a uh, pedestrian crossing where you can hit the button to get the light to cross. There were some uh, joggers that already hit the button, so we had tremendous luck and didn't have to wait. T took a, and then you take a left on 50th at West Woodland Elementary and a right back on 6th. And head down to the stop sign, which is 58th. And then you basically stay on this road all the way through Ballard. Yeah. There's a, this is a, a stop here. You can hit the crosswalk button to get the light, yes. or you can wait for an uh, and opening on 8th. keep going straight. Just keep Have going straight. Have a good day. Goodbye. Yeah. We're not, <laughs> we're not there yet. <laughs> so this intersection is a little weird. You gotta, you gotta watch for traffic both directions. I hope you like our video. Goodbye. We're not done yet. Oh. Remember, you know, if you want to trigger the light, park your front wheel where the Bye. little Bye. bike Bye. icon Bye. is on the Just sidewalk. Like Why do we have to stay here forever? We don't. We don't. Um, this road is a little narrow, so oncoming traffic, it's pretty much a one-way street with all the cars parked on the side. But fortunately, traffic's yes. usually less than 25 miles an hour. There's a crosswalk button here. That just changes the so the lights blink to make drivers aware of you. Like, float up. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Just go back. Right. And so we go along 58th, a little bit of climbing. Pretty quiet neighborhood. Yeah. Not a lot of traffic. Nice and easy. Then we get oh, to this uh, stop here and then just follow the signs that say to Golden Gardens. It's a nice little uphill climb through this neighborhood. And then it's a really fun descent until you get down to the bottom of this hill where they have signs to say get on the sidewalk but I really think that it's safer to go to the stop sign where traffic can see you than getting on the sidewalk where people traffic isn't looking for you because you'll see this uh, brownish car here he just kept rolling and we had to head out to traffic because he almost hit us so anyways then you now we're back on the Burt Gilman trail a nice easy and wide open trail and then you we are going as fast as speed as light. Mm, not quite, but yeah, we, 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 we had a good 
pace here, but the, some people pass. We, we went so fast. Not really. I just sped up the video. Um, this is a four-way no, stop here. No, then you like danced it. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't recall dancing. This, so this parking lot can get full and can get very busy with a lot of cars waiting for parking. I can't. So just watch out for that. And then when you get here, just walk your bike because there's a lot of traffic, usually foot traffic. And then there's the bike rack. And, and park. Park it.